Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I am so mad at myself. I got such a nasty sunburn from the sun in Costa Rica, but I'm getting sidetracked. I'm currently in Miami and I'm about to go to the gym so I can move my body. Normally, I always start my week with a leg day, but since I was traveling for work and I honestly was pretty tired already, I decided to start with some light cardio of walking on the treadmill for half an hour. This still felt really good to get my body moving and honestly to help my mind fully wake up and become active too. Following my walk, I went back up to my hotel room to do some stretching. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you all can hear me because it is raining outside and I wanted nothing more than to just lay in bed and listen to the rain this morning. But I am here at the gym because it is leg day and leg day is actually my favorite day of the week. I love training legs. I just think it is so much fun. It's always a good challenge for me to really push myself. And I always just feel like I get the best workouts in after I do leg day. So that is what we are doing today and then I do have to get a lot of editing done both on this channel and on my Jed and Julia channel So I'll get to be all cozied up at home later and hopefully I'll get some reading done, too Oh, I just don't want to get out of my car yet though because I feel like as soon as I got here My car finally felt warm and the heaters on and I don't want to go out there in the cold rain so I'm just gonna drink some of my pre-workout and hang out in here for a minute, psych myself up to go in there and do my workout. It's funny because when I was a gymnast, I did not like training legs at all. And now as like a full fledged adult, I am obsessed with it. So it's really interesting to me how the different things that you like to do, whether it be hobbies or workouts or whatnot, they really change as you grow and get older. I also thought I should mention to you guys that since I got in from a three day work trip yesterday, I actually have the next, I think four or five days off. So um, this week made it perfect perfect for me to film this video, my ideal week of workouts, because I actually have time to do all of them. But looking at this weather right now, I'm really grateful that I'm not flying today because I don't like driving in the rain. I'm actually really proud of myself that I drove to the gym, which was only like a 10 minute drive, but still I'm proud of myself. Okay, I need to shut up and actually get inside to do this workout. Stop procrastinating, Julia. All right, let's go. Not going to lie to you all, I still felt really cold and I spent about 25-ish minutes just walking on the treadmill to warm up my muscles so I would be fully ready to go for my leg workout. I do follow a workout program through the Alive app. I will link it below. This was made by the amazing Whitney Simmons. She is an incredible fitness content creator who I have been following for years now. She gets full credit for creating the workouts I'm going to show you this week. The first thing I did today was four sets of eight on the leg press. From this angle, it looks like I am locking my knees out, but I swear I am not. I had 35 pounds on each side of the machine and my goal is to increase the weight bit by bit, week by week. The next exercise I did was one that I've never done before. It was a bit of a funky one for me, but I'm always up for trying new things. I did two sets of eight on each side, holding a 10 pound dumbbell, and these are called B stance RDL with rotation. I did feel some nice glute and hamstring activation, but the movement itself wasn't my favorite. So I ended up actually switching over and doing two sets of 10 regular RDLs with 12 and a half pound dumbbells in each hand. All right, next up we have weighted squats. I was using a 40 pound kettlebell for this exercise. I did three sets of 10. Moving along to hamstring curls. Honestly, the way I use for this really just depends on how fried my legs are, but this was also three sets of 10. Finishing up the workout, yay! We have three sets of 12 kickbacks on each leg. You can do this just how I am or standing with a band or using the cable machine to add weight. And that, my friends, is it for this leg day. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I see Luna. You wanna say good morning? Come here. Come here, Luna. Come on up. Come here. Come say good morning. <laughs> My 
got Luna right here. Hi, honey bunny. What do you want? I already fed you and took you out. Excuse you, what are you sniffing for? I think you just want attention. I woke up very tired today. Um, I've been awake for over an hour now. I put on my gym clothes, but I have yet to go wash my face, put my hair up, brush my teeth and get out the door. But at least I did the first step, so that's good. But um, I don't know why, I'm, I'm just very, very tired today. Uh, today, let me open the Alive app to see what we have going on. We have a push workout today. So an upper body day. I'm gonna go get ready and then we'll get this workout in. After getting in a good warm up, the first exercise I did was three sets of eight seated dumbbell shoulder press. I believe I did this with 10 pounds in each hand. Next, we are on to lateral raises. I literally cannot do this exercise with any weight that is over five pounds on each side. I did three sets of 10 here. Next, we moved into a superset, and what that means is back-to-back -back sets of two different exercises with minimal to no rest in between each. So here I did eight dumbbell chest presses followed by eight dumbbell close grip chest presses, and I did three total sets. Moving right along, we now have three sets of 10 diamond front raises. Last superset, we have eight reps of overhead cable tricep extensions, immediately going into eight rope tricep pushdowns. I didn't vlog anything for day four because this is an active rest day. I did not go to the gym, but I did take Miss Luna out on a long walk and I got some stretching done at home. Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday. Yes, it's Friday. I can't even remember what day of the week it is. I am so excited to be wearing the Gymshark Whitney Simmons latest collection. I have loved all of the pieces that she has made for Gymshark. I got this outfit in black as well. It's just so cute and these leggings have pockets too. They have pockets. Today we have another upper body day. It's called a pool day because you pull down the equipment, not pool, like swim in a pool. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into this pull workout. First exercise we have is three sets of 10 cable lat pull downs. Following that, I moved into three sets of 10 single arm bent over dumbbell rows. I was using a kettlebell for this because all of the dumbbells at a weight I can pull were taken. Also, I was not feeling super strong today and just a reminder to use a low weight when needed or even no weight at all. Movement is always good for the body and you do not need the biggest and heaviest weight to still get in a great workout. Okay, so these felt really awkward with the kettlebells rather than dumbbells, but it still got the job done. I don't remember the technical name of this exercise, but I did three sets of eight to 10 circular bicep curls. Next, we have three sets of 10 cable stretchers followed by three sets of 10 of these cable rows. To finish off this day at the gym, I walked on the treadmill at a slight incline for 30 minutes while also reading a book. Good morning, everybody. So it is Saturday. It is the last workout of the week because tomorrow is going to be completely a rest day. But if you are still watching this video, thank you so much. You are a real one. We have one more workout to get done today. Technically, today is supposed to be a full body day, but my upper body is still really sore from yesterday. So I think I'm just going to do another leg day today. I just walked on the treadmill to warm up and now I am ready to get going. Oh. 
Okay, here we go, last workout of the week, and we are starting off strong with a killer exercise. These are dumbbell Bulgarian split squats, and y'all, these are way harder than they look. Sometimes I really can only use five to 10 pound weights on each side, but I did three sets of eight to 10 here on each leg. Next up, we have three sets of 10 sumo squats holding a dumbbell. I believe I was holding a 35 or 40 pound weight here. This is also a deceptively difficult exercise. We have three sets of 10 weighted step ups on each leg. All right, to close out this leg day and this video, we have three sets of 10 leg extensions. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I hope that you all are having a fabulous week. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you next time.